Welcome to another channel teaching video. I'm Rena Wells. I am an intuitive medicine woman and I work with plant medicines. I am running ayahuasca retreats with my ayahuasquero in Mexico next year. So if doing ayahuasca and working with other twins and high potent divine feminine energies of interest of you, Take a look down below. All my information is down below. Simply send me an email and I can add you to the list. Also, if you would like to work one-on-one -on -one with me or you'd like to know more about me, I have lots of blog posts and teachings that have been posted in the Minds Journal. Uh, take a look down below and just take a look at my website. Also, I'm going to welcome all new subscribers, all new viewers. Welcome. Uh, these teachings have been a while coming. I've <laughs> stalled on a lot of this because of my own growth process, but I am glad that you are here, and I hope that you find these teachings enlightening, enlightening and yeah, that are going to help you in finding that inner union in your own yin-yang energies. And for my returning subscribers, welcome. I know you guys have been super patient with me. <laughs> And thank you for your continuous support and I'm sending you so much love. And I just wanted to just bring a little bit of that up in regards to, you know, uh, integration and working with uh, high potency medicines of the earth like uh, iboga and ayahuasca and uh, psilocybin and DMT and things like that. If your healer and your teacher isn't growing and changing as well, I'm sure you guys have seen just in the last year how much things have changed for me just in the expression of the social media that I put out. You know, you guys are on a very important journey and the world is changing. And I know if you're listening to this, you definitely are a new leader of this earth. It's time to just get out there and put your gifts out there. And I'm all about building community. I don't believe in gurus or following one person, <laughs> things like that. I'm here to bring people together into building communities and to create sustainable living on the earth and to awaken ancient codes on the earth, especially the twin flame, yin yang balance, which has been seen in um, all types of stories and folklore for since humanity has started. And I just wanted to welcome all of you because it takes a very courageous heart to be on a twin flame journey. People don't understand you. Uh, you have to do the deepest of surrendering of any expectations of union or being with your twin and to follow spirit, to follow God, no matter what. And that is a courageous heart. So I just wanted to say that to all of you and um, as we get started okay spirit's saying we're gonna get started so I'm just gonna take a deep breath in everything is channeled nothing is uh, I don't write anything down I have no notes in front of me I simply follow spirit okay <clears throat> Okay, so we're gonna go into the codependency piece of basic relationships, and I'm gonna put my newest blog, if you wanna know a little bit about my journey, I am open about my journey, you guys. I mean, I don't go into deep personal issues in my life, <clears throat> because I do honor people in my life that are affected by the way that I express myself, but I am open about the trials and tribulations that I've gone through, and so if you would like to know a little bit more about about my twin flame journey. <clears throat> I did create, uh, I did write a blog recently. You can take a look down below. Spirit wants to bring in the fact of where the earth has been historically in regards to relationships and how relationships have evolved over the years. The first basic type of relationship that we can still see in many parts of the world is marriage in regards to forming alliances. <clears throat> Thank you. 
thank you spirit is bringing up you know we would see with royalty and you know different leaders of different worlds coming together and having their offspring marry other other royalty in other countries to form alliance to bridge peace and spirit says uh, is bringing up a lot about my lineage about dowries and paying the dowry for a woman and bringing prosperity to a family and depending on how many goats somebody has or or what not because survival has been the basis of our matrix and this is something if you haven't listened to the other channel teachings especially the first one with empaths and how your psyche is being infiltrated by darker forces <coughs> There goes into a lot of the survival mindset, the lack mindset. And so if any of you, Spirit is bringing up grown up in poverty or hardship, or your family has not been able to manifest abundance and money, or there's been a lot of Spirit is bringing up abuse in the home, just know that if you are on this twin flame journey, twins are initiated deeply into the dark codes of relationship in order thank you spirit to find the medicine to activate the light codes in your dna so that when you are ready to step into mission you don't have to do much at all but to be yourself because those light codes are going into the grid work of the earth and they're reaching your tribe and they're reaching the people that are meant to work with you and so spirit wants you to recognize like all of this new age zaza zing stuff that we see like on instagram and we get pulled in by you know the girl wearing a bikini and the beautiful filters of the sparkles and the light filters and spirit is saying a lot of you are ready to know deep authentic teachers deep leaders uh that are here to bring in and usher in the new earth because you are one of them, especially if you're listening to this. And so the basis of relationship spirit is bringing back has started from a place of lack of mentality in order to build up prosperity in a world that was moving very quickly in a monetary economic fashion. There were a lot of arranged marriages in other cultures and across other countries in order for this peace. Now, Spirit is saying that is still happening on the planet today. There are many cultures and traditions. We still see it that things are breaking with the royal family now, but uh, it's happening still, Spirit says, in many areas of the world that there is still in the collective a consciousness of lack and to be choosing relationships that has been in your lineage thank you spirit of thank you the habits and the traits that we get uh, that we see in in the correlation between our own parents uh, and the correlation between our grandparents spirit wants you to recognize that relationships from both ends, from the masculine that you learned from your father and the feminine that you learned from your mother, and even if your parents' spirit is saying, did not raise you, you had certain significant role models that you chose in this lifetime to learn masculine energy and feminine energy from. And spirit wants you to go back into your ancestry line to take a look at how marriage came about in your family. Now, I know in my family being of East Indian descent from way back. Um, now we're talking over 400 years ago because most of my family has been stationed in South America for the last three to 400 years because of colonialism. <clears throat> but my family comes from Northern India and my mom's side comes from Northern India. And my dad, uh, part Mongolian and uh, South India. And spirit is yeah, thank you. Bringing up the codes that came in through my ancestry line was a deep uh, conditioning of betrayal, arranged marriages, because we needed to survive. Just give me a second, they're downloading something. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. 
They're bringing up that these light codes that came into your DNA, your dark codes and the light codes that come from your lineage, has infiltrated your relationships in this lifetime based on your examples of masculine and feminine energy. It's been encoded also with whatever abuse that you've had. Thank you, and Spirit is saying in order to break out of that matrix. Right, we can't look at the relationship with your twin flame right now. We can't look at what's happened between you and your twin. The wounding is exact, Spirit says, between you and your twin. And because the wounding is exact, it comes from the ancestry lines. The Spirit is bringing up that your twin's family and your family have the same dark codes. So they're bringing up <clears throat> betrayal in my family ran very strong, especially on my mother's side and my father's side. Actually, they're bringing up, yes, that's true, and my father's side. And betrayal, uh, they're saying, runs very deep on my twin's side as well because of those light coats, of those dark coats. Thank you, Spirit. And it's in those aspects that you're going to find the medicine. And the freedom comes from relationship to move out of the lack of mentality relationship, to move out, move out of matrix conditionings. Thank you, Spirit. It is to find the medicine in those dark coats. Now, they're bringing up another type of relationship other than lack. There's the ones that the matrix has formed. And we can see that, thank you, Spirit, in our media. The next level spirit is showing that people who evolved out of the lack relationships, now spirit is also bringing through that we have to also look at every single layer here that I'm bringing up because it is a tear effect, okay? So the first to look at in your relationships right now with your significant masculine and feminine energies that you learned from as a child is to look at the lack mentality. Okay, was it survival? Was it traumatic? Was it betrayal? Was it what was the main conditioning in your relationships? And Spirit is saying, if you're having trouble seeing that in your family, just take a look at how you are in relationships when you are with somebody intimately. What has your partner mirrored back to you that you? Thank you. That you that you have that you did not want to look at, and they're bringing up. You know, my ex husband would say to me that I had massive control issues, and I remember during um, an ayahuasca ceremony that uh, spirit brought up my need to continuously surrender because I was trying to control my surrendering, and that I also had control issues which I did not want to look at. But <laughs> I see exactly where they are now, and so. All of these things in your relationship spirit says it's great to make a list to take a look at what your partners of your past has mirrored back to you and all of those things that they've said to us that we didn't want to hear spirit wants you to be brave and to hear those things and to look at them that is the first step in healing in the first tier they're bringing up the second tier in regards to the matrix and moving out of lack into love they say that a lot of family lineages and ancestry lines on the planet didn't want to marry out of obligation and out of lack of mentality anymore. They wanted love. They wanted to be with a partner. And Spirit's saying it was a great step in the right direction for longing for who God made you for. But it's also, thank you, Spirit is saying the abundance mindset. And so we, we continued with the lack mindset but moved into love. We knew that the contrast that came from the first tier of lack mentality of survival, Spirit is saying we then evolved into relationships that became, that we wanted, thank you, thank you Spirit, they're bringing me back, um, it showed the contrast of wanting love, but the intention of lack was still there. And so we moved and evolved into where we are currently finding ourselves of still looking and seeking partnerships and soul connections and love in regards to a lack of intention it's the basis that's running through our lineage and so spirit is saying that's the base foundation but now you're seeking love on top of that it's not just survival and having your bills paid anymore it's 
building a life with somebody that you have love for but spirit also wants you to recognize that the matrix has continued to build onto this paradigm now lack and love they're saying the two are going hand in hand in this matrix and people aren't actually recognizing it they're Thank you. Spirit is saying there are different forms of love languages. Um, if you guys have heard that book, and um, I couldn't read it because it never resonated with me, because it's talking about the expression of love and how you are with your partner. That they, thank you, Spirit. That okay. They're bringing up that this love language aspect is you know you learn about how the person that you're intimate with how they express their love and how you express love is different and so you need to learn about the other person and spirit wants you to recognize that for you at the state of your evolution by the time that you're actually serious about entering into a serious relationship you've already had years of conditioning in your ancestry line you've already had years of conditioning with the masculine and feminine energies in your life and so you already have a lack of mentality and we all do this isn't just you <laughs> it's every single person on the planet and so we all come into this place of this lack of mentality and now we're seeking love and we're speaking to each other in these love languages but spirit is saying that if it is not your natural way of expressing yourself and now you have to learn to express yourself in a different way it becomes compromising to your soul it becomes compromising to the other person as well and this is the compromising aspect that i wrote about in the blog that soulmate relationships karmic relationships anything that is outside of a twin flame dynamic will always have this second tier state of consciousness it will constantly have the lack on top of the love now spirit is saying not everybody is destined to be with their twin flame they're also bringing through that not all twin flames are incarnated on the planet i don't know how true that is because my own belief systems say differently but this is what they're channeling through to me Thank you. They're saying the twin flames that are incarnated on the planet are the ones that are the trailblazers that are here to uh, usher in the new light coats. Okay. Okay, perfect. Okay, so spirit is bringing through now. Because not everybody has a twin flame here, the second tier of souls, and this is the mass consciousness, spirit is saying this is the they're showing me the the meat of the burger okay um the first tier is like the the small layer of the bread you know it's a small um amount that are still in that lack mentality that aren't marrying for love anymore now we got the meat and this is where the majority of people are in soulmate relationships and spirit is saying that the thank you those that are not here to be in a twin flame union and to do twin flame work the meat of this consciousness is very important for those who are coming into soulmate connections. And the reason for that is because there is an availability to transcend the lack mentality in the second tier into pure divine love. Now, the lessons, they're, they're bringing back the love languages when, thank you, the people in this tier need to learn about humbleness, okay? Um, twin flames learn humbleness by being broken very early in their life, okay? The ones that are in this second tier spirit is saying, you know, they've had pretty decent family lives, okay? Um, everybody has their trauma, but we're talking about the ones that have had so much darkness instigated at a very young age, uh, the wounded healers, that they were able to thank you spirit they're able to transcend at a higher place they're able to reach higher levels of frequencies and consciousness because of the depth that they have fallen and so these ones that are sitting in this second tier the juicy part spirit is saying like we as a collective have put this whole twin flame journey as the whole almighty as oh it's the best thing ever it's a twin flame thing and spirit is saying it's the same thing as people when they come to me and they're like, I wish I was as psychic, as psychic as you or I had such a clear channel. It's like, do you really want, did you really want to go through the abuse that I went through to get here? Like, you have no idea what you're saying right now. Like, do you know the work that I have been doing since I was 16 years old? Okay. Like, you've been tired for the last three years of your work. Try the last 30 years of your life. <laughs> like, and Spirit is saying it's the same kind of thing with the twin flames. It's like, do you really want to be on this journey? 
do really so there's a humbling aspect that happens with twins at a very early date spirit is saying okay so this second tier here is that these soulmates and their divine counterparts are so important to the collective because they are learning to transmute that lack mentality into god's love into the next space of consciousness so that they too can meet their twin and move into a mission work either on this planet or in other places of consciousness now that being said spirit is saying these love languages they're using this love language as an example that if i need to learn how you are and i need to compromise my own self and learn new ways spirit is saying that is the state of consciousness that these people in the second tier are ready to learn about about how to give and nurture another person over self there is a level of selfishness spirit is saying that starts to dwindle as we move from one tier to the next as you can see in tier one we're looking at you know lack of mentality money being able to survive it's a very selfish energy survival but i mean it, it it's needed right that was needed in our state of consciousness it's not good or bad there's a level of selfishness that we need to take care of ourselves that self-love and this is where a lot of people think that when you love yourself first it's selfish it's actually not but it's a state of consciousness that we had to move out of that lack of mentality now when we're moving into second tier and we're in partnerships and different relationships we are learning to put ourselves aside in order to give and nurture another person now not every Everybody um, does this with a partner. It can be with your children. Spirit is bringing up. I know that when I had children, it was a very difficult transition for me. Um, very difficult. I didn't have the basic. Oh, I'm so in love with my baby. I just gave birth. I was like, I'm so freaking dead tired, and now I have to breastfeed nonstop, and I've had no rest. Like, I was very much in a poor me victim mentality when I first gave birth. And um, it was a very much a big mindset and spirit is bringing that up because we have to go through a purifying process of humbling ourselves in order to give selflessly. And when you're able to give selflessly, thank you, spirit is saying give selflessly without expectation. And so some of us moving into the third tier with the twin flame journey and coming into union with our divine counterpart, and that may or may not happen again. We'll, we'll get into that. Um, Spirit saying that's another that's another video because we're going to move into the codependency and the, and the freedom aspect into tier three. But Spirit is saying that there is a back and forth if you're on this twin flame journey between tier two and between tier three. And as you meet your twin and and things happen there is a moving back into you know maybe some of you need to be in a soulmate connection in order to let go of that lack mentality vibration that has been traveling through your ancestry line for eons and spirit is bringing up learning to be completely surrendered and giving because spirit is saying union and coming into union it's not about what you get it's about what you give the consciousness of twin flame connection is a complete surrender to the other and a need and a desire that you don't want anything from that connection but to give and share divine love. That's what twin flames are about. Now in the second tier, that's nice on paper for second tier consciousness. Um, we say that we want to give but there's always an expectation that we haven't evolved from and that's what defines the second placement with the twin flame journey that there still is an expectation when we give there's still something of receiving something back when we give who yeah exactly and so spirit says the doorway between second tier and coming into union with your twin is very much a wavering effect it's very much a back and forth between selflessness and selfishness okay wow because to come into twin flame journey is complete selflessness yeah okay 
So now Spirit is saying we can start talking about this doorway and the wavering back and forth. They're saying it's like a revolving door. They're showing me an image of a revolving door. And when we move into Twin Flame Union, the revolving door is that each twin must walk through that door individually. It's not moving in through that door together. Okay, and that door is mission. Now Spirit's saying there is a lot of misconceptions in Twin Flames and right because the stigma of second tier is like oh it's the twin flames are the most holy connection <laughs> spirit again is bringing up the brunt work to get there everybody everything you spirit is saying everybody's ego not their souls right we have to separate the two the human ego the ego wants to win and be the greatest and be seen and so this whole thing in the new age community about twin flames it's like oh i want that i want that because that's the most holy but they don't actually have any idea of how deep that this goes and how it breaks your entire world apart it be it breaks every belief system that you've ever had you guys i was a lesbian okay like let's just put it that way <laughs> Um, just exclusively dating women for 10 years until I met my twin. And I'm like, what? <laughs> and had to rewire myself to move through that revolving door, you know? And it's taken me two and a half years. You guys have seen it on my channel because I have been fighting doing this calling, okay? Because I felt I had to do it with him. And moving into that revolving door and finally just surrendering to it, has not been easy and um thank you and spirit is saying that is a rites of passage okay to come into your full divinity and to come into your full calling and the mission work whether or not that tw your twin walks through that revolving door or not now spirit is bringing up twins that are meant to come into union in this life it will be very difficult that when one twin moves through that revolving door into tier three they thank you spirit says god shuts that door thank you okay thank you the spirit is saying we shut that door with the telepathy the dream state not feeling them uh you may still think about them but spirit is saying all of those mystical things start to fall away and so if you have been this is a message from spirit if you have been focus on your work Focus on learning what your mission is, speaking to God on a consistent basis, doing your healing work, meditating, eating right, taking care of you, doing you, right? And surrendering to spirit and surrendering to spirit. And yes, I know it's hard work, you guys. I know, I know, I can't tell you. Every time, you know, I would feel my twin and I'm crying again and I'm like, oh, I have cried for this man. I don't know. I need to stop. This is too much. Let's move on. Spirit is saying, every time you release every time you surrender we bring you into more peace we bring the peace your angels your guides your ancestors god mother earth we all surround you and bring you the peace in your grief in your surrender in your complete trust in god in your complete faith in the journey that you have no doubt or wavering energy that that's your person and that you have mission together and that you are holding that like a stake in the ground for that divine truth to manifest and you have an army of god of god's angels that's what god's saying to me a father masculine energy which is creative force and mother divine energy combined with all of their beings that they've created like the angels okay ordaining you and giving you this peace now this point is very difficult to come to because it is the deepest of the healing you will ever do in your entire life because spirit is bringing through tier one twin i'm sorry tier two soulmate consciousness or people that are still stuck in that level uh, of relationships yeah right thank you spirit cannot move into 
their twin flame union until they completely leave the tier two vibration behind them. And to step into complete faith with your connection to God, to spirit. Okay? And that takes time, right? That takes that's a back and forth. Now, Spirit is saying that once you hit this point, you will know, you will feel free, guys. I feel so amazing. I, I can't tell you how amazing this feels to be doing mission work and planning ayahuasca retreats now. And and I can't wait for how next year is going to unfold. But this brings you so much joy because Spirit has now shut the door to your twin. Um, because I can tell you, I don't dream him. I don't feel nothing, nothing. Because that door is closed. Okay, I maybe felt him a little bit last night. But Spirit is saying, that door, they will close it to maintain the peace. And when that happens, okay, the other twin will get the call to level up. Okay. Now, Spirit is saying, once you have hit this complete space of peace and surrender and you are starting mission or you're discovering mission or you're in mission whatever that looks like in your journey spirit is bringing up the freedom piece that you will begin in your individual journey start to recognize a complete sense of freedom because spirit is saying because you have gained the rites of passage of complete faith because that is complete surrender of the ego mind right and because you have done that spirit guides you you have such a clear connection to god source right because your twin flame brings you closer to god and so when that activation happened with you and your twin it opened that channel for you to have direct communication to god source you don't have to speak to guides my twins okay you don't have to speak to spirit guides or even angels or anything you have a direct connection to god source and it's not that every everybody does but so many people find it very difficult to get that high in vibration that's why they use spirit guides okay um it's a lower frequency that's why they use angels and whatnot okay spirit has always said if you look at through all the teachings of all our ascended masters you go right to the source and I understand that it's not easy for everybody to get to that point. You do. The angels and the guides act as a stepping stone. They're also bringing up the practice of Reiki. Um, these are all stepping stones. Even tarot, divination, it's all stepping stones, right? But when you hit this point of complete surrender and freedom, your channel, that activation that happened with your twin to meet God face to face, and this is creator force energy, God, this is father energy. Okay, mother energy is in the womb. She's the one that's been nurturing us from like back to tier one, you know, of uh, resources and nurturing and being aligned to nature and knowing how to love ourselves because we've had to love ourselves and mother ourselves in feminine energy to get to this point. Now, when you hit this point, you meet father creative force energy. And that's very different. Okay. When you are able to open that channel and have direct communication, spirit just brings everything to you, right? You don't have to go on social media, okay? You don't have to have this huge following. All that is tier two matrix stuff, okay? People find you. Guys, people find me. I don't even know how people find me. Um, at the grocery store, you know, I booked a client <laughs> at the grocery store, you know? I just bump into somebody and start talking. This is the synchronistic life that you begin to live. It's magical. It's the ancient codes that start to activate because that door is open to God's source. Now, there is complete freedom in that because you have the faith to trust completely in the unknown, which is where a lot of tier two people are, ha are still struggling with because they're still learning the difference between selfish and selfless, right? And selfless, and the spirit wants to bring this up, selfless is not to be a doormat, right? Selfless is putting yourself first consistently to know God. And so spirit is bringing up that when you are in this place of freedom, 
and full surrender, the other twin will then begin to elevate, and this is all in divine timing, walk through that revolving door into the third tier. You will feel when they move through that door. This is why I said I felt them last night, because I, I believe there's something shifting but um, in my connection. But you will feel, you will know, because you will feel the peace amplified within yourself and with your twin. And that freedom will then become magnified between you and your twin. And when you, the union becomes closer, spirit says, the freedom energy will expand. The love expands, the freedom expands. Because creative force energy, thank you God, creative force energy is complete freedom. Spirit says, I made birds with wings so they can fly wherever the hell they want. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, right. I created, right, the, the dolphins and whatnot in the sea to swim freely and vast oceans however the hell they want. Because animals know their innate, true nature of the mother because they're already connected, but they also recognize God force energy of the freedom of creative force energy. And when they are free, they are open. And when you are free, you are open to receiving. And when you're open to receiving, you speak to God directly. And when you speak to God directly, you are guided. And that, thank you, Spirit. That is how the mother and father energies work with you to keep you safe on the planet. So when you learn the love of the mother, as you learn to love yourself, to move through those tears, you come into a place of complete freedom once you move into tier three, ready for your twin flame union, ready to, thank you, spirit is saying, and not even having the expectation because you've let go of the expectations in tier two, that you are recognizing that you trust God fully if it's your twin or if it's not, because now you're in a complete space of peace. It doesn't matter who shows up because you know it's aligned because you're having complete communication with God's source. And that's the freedom of twin flames and killing codependency spirit wants you to recognize that, that if there are still codependent patterns you are moving thank you spirit is saying majority of people who are listening to this are moving right now between tier two and tier three okay so we're, i'm going to get some channel teachings and to help with killing that codependency i'm going to give you some points spirit's going to bring that through okay so here are some points that you guys can work on. I would love to hear your comments about this teaching that came through today. Um, in order to kill codependency, Spirit is saying the first point to look at is how you were raised. And I mentioned this earlier, it came through in regards to the influential masculine and feminine energies in your life. And you may want to write that down, okay? And to talk about how love was presented to you, what relationships, uh, were how they were presented to you, uh, how you are to be in relationships, what is right, what is wrong, what does marriage look like for you. Spirit wants you to take all of those things and take a look at tier one, where there is a lack of vibration. And you know what lack vibration feels like. It feels like you're afraid that you're not going to be able to pay your bills or your money's not coming in or you're not going to have food for tomorrow to feed your kids, whatever. I mean, those are drastic, but spirit is bringing that up in regards to looking at the lack mentality, the fear that's associated with that. That's the first place to start because that energy is running through into your relationships as well. Now, spirit is saying, what has the transition in airy piece has been to move into tier two tier two is about thank you the contrast between selflessness and selfishness okay so they want to bring in some distinction here selfish is how much you can get right out of a relationship why do you enter into relationship are you wanting or needing something and they're bringing this up because I know like I have had stagnant energy in my love life. You know, I remember one time after I'd ended it with one partner who I almost married. Thank God I didn't. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> but uh, in regards to that partner, it was like there was um, two years that I had to do some some inner growth in myself just to heal from that. 
and I had to look at where I was being selfish and I just wanted to get back into another relation. I couldn't wait to get into another relationship like that was, you know, because I was wanting something that I was lacking within myself. And that lack from tier one will feed into the selfish behaviors, okay? Selfish spirit is also bringing, do I require somebody to behave a certain way in my relationships? I mean, obviously you don't want someone to be abusive, that's a given, but you know, do I need somebody that is consistently open and sharing their feelings all the time? What do I need from that? Is that a control tactic? Is that something for my lack vibration that I require? Do I need this person to express in a way for me to understand? Or what is that attachment that I'm having for my lack vibration? Why is it that I am not able to accept this person in this relationship in this way. And this doesn't have to be romantic either, guys. This can be in your in your friends, in your family. So spirit wants you to now see where you are selfless without expectation, right? A lot of us in tier two, when we are evolving out of that, we give because we expect something in return. We don't just give because we want to just give and we love the look on someone's face. No, granted, a lot of us do do that. But when we're in relationship, a relationship paradigm of a set of mind patterns start to activate once you enter into relationship. It's almost like you get a, a, your friends for a bit and then you're like, okay, we're dating now. And it's like, ding, 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 ding. It's like all of a sudden you move from friendship into this relationship box and, <laughs> and things change. And I've noticed that also in my life. It's like, okay, we were friends. How is this changing now that we're in a relationship? Why does that change? because thank you how spirit is showing me is you are you in all containers there should be no difference right thank you spirit is saying except for the amount that you share but you as a person and the way that you express yourself should be consistent through all tiers, right? Now, if you are not consistent, Spirit is saying, in all three tiers, right? Through the lack of level one and then the comparing in level two between selfish and selflessness and then moving into your twin flame um, surrendering piece, right? Of complete freedom. Where are you having this expectation? And where are you not consistent in yourself? Spirit wants you to look at that, okay? And the aspect of selflessness, thank you. And Spirit's bringing this up because a lot of divine feminines just sit around waiting and put yourself on hold. That's not divine feminine energy, you guys. That is distorted feminine energy. Distorted feminine energy does not sit around and wait. Divine feminine energies are the portals between heaven and earth. We are here to bring and birth the new vibration. We have to move into the new vibration first. Every single time we are the leaders of the vibration. Okay? The masculines come in and take that and build in the 3D with that. Okay? But we are the architects. There is, Spirit is saying, there is no way a divine feminine would ever sit there and twiddle her thumbs and wait. It's a very codependent pattern when you do not choose self, especially for divine feminines, okay? We have to move into those new vibrations. And I know on the twin flame journey, a lot of divine feminines struggle with this because we think, oh, the men aren't doing anything. But spirit is saying that is the destruction of the, of the distorted feminine energy. Another one spirit is saying, well, I don't see any proof manifesting in the 3d. So whatever, but spirit is saying that's another distorted feminine to trust the intuition piece, to move into the unknown, to know God in the energy and the feeling vibration first before anything ever does manifest. So divine feminine energy, and this is for even if you're a masculine, right? Um, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you're listening to this, you're on a twin flame journey. You've got to balance that feminine energy within yourself of what that distorted energy looks like. Okay. Now the masculine congruently works with the feminine to action and push feminine energy to move into that vibration and to cut away the old vibration. Okay. And so spirit is bringing up this whole selflessness aspect and the selfishness is the second tier to start looking at. 
Now moving into the third tier, Spirit says, I want you to recognize that there's going to be some wavering first, right? Between that revolving door of going between two and three, okay? This is the discovery of your life mission. Right? This is also connecting to soul tribe family. It's a very high frequency when you meet your tribe family. It's very high frequency when you meet your twin. So if you've met your twin and you've merged your energies, you guys are at a very ancient journey, right? Spirit is saying, own that, okay? Own it in the collective. Claim it. Even if people think you're crazy, that's part of the journey, you guys, of moving into tier three. Okay, I know a lot of you have already done that. Okay, but now, thank you, Spirit is saying this is the time to refine your gifts. This is you time. This is you. What is your calling saying to do? And Spirit is saying this is looking back at your journey over the last two tiers, right? That you've been working on. You know, for me, um, I have been this relationship thing has been a thing in my whole life. I remember like coaching people in like grade seven and grade eight on the relationships. <laughs> it's like a little 12, 13 year old me, like helping boyfriends and girlfriends. And I didn't even have a boyfriend or a girlfriend. And I'm like, why am I helping these people? But spirit is saying, I laugh at it now because spirit is saying, whatever you were doing when you were a kid is part of your mission. Okay. Whatever you were attracted to in your youth is coming up in tier three for you to discover and to refocus and to replenish and to perfect because you are perfect. Thank you. Spirit is saying you are perfect at that skill, completely perfect and unique. And that is part of your mission. And that will be for those that are starting their mission. That and Spirit is saying that's going to be your tagline, okay? When you got to advertise, you still got to kind of play in the matrix a bit, right, guys? You got to still put some media, social media stuff out there. But Spirit says that will be your mission statement or your tagline or your focus. And that is tier three, and that is complete freedom, is moving into that, okay? And that's how you're going to kill the codependency. Okay. Now, as you're going back and forth in that wavering spirit says, just recognize if you can bring conscious mindset when you fall, right? If you're falling back into an addiction into tier two, spirit's like, that's okay. The unraveling process takes time, you guys. We are so hard on ourselves, okay? It's not going to take you guys like 30 years like it did for me, okay? I had some of the worst trauma that people have gone through on this planet okay like it did had to take me that long to be here for you guys but you guys didn't have that extent some of you did some of you have i have worked with some of you some of you have but you are amazing uh amazing 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 um mission that you have um not that nobody else does but what i'm saying is spirit says it's not going to take you 30 damn years okay <laughs> It's not going to take you as long as me. I'm here to help elevate you. I went through that for you guys to help you guys. So spirit is saying, start activating that from your youth, right? Start recognizing that you are on the fast track. Everyone listening to the spirit is saying you're on the fast track now. Okay. And to honor that and keep your vibration clear so that you can discover and put these things together as you move into tier three and know that you are when you are wavering and you're going back to addictions and you're falling and you're crashing spirit saying i gotta take you back to the dark so you guys can find the medicine in that so be mindful every time you think you screwed up you didn't screw up spirits like i gotta take you back to the dark shit i'm sorry i gotta pull you back into that addiction i gotta pull you back into that dark stuff right now into that sex addiction or into that drug addiction or into that abusive partner that you can't seem to get away from or like I gotta pull you back in there because I but I want you to pray before you go into that and I want you to bring God force into that I want you to bring spirit into that and your ancestors into that and I want you to be mindful and aware now that you know what you're looking for right where is this vibrating? What am I doing here? How am I reacting? What are the thoughts that are going through my head? Am I going to respond in the same way that I did before? Or am I going to choose something different? And Spirit says, I keep pulling you back into those dark places to really unravel the dark codes that have been running in your ancestry line. And it's going to take 
time. So please, please, I beg all of you, be kind to yourself. Rest. If you're using, if you're in a place of addiction, bring God as you're using into it. Pray as you're using it. Talk to your DNA. Talk to yourselves. Talk to spirit. Spirit says, when you move, <clears throat> thank you, when you move into the twin flame aspect and to surrender into tier three, and you're doing the wavering back and forth, you are building your tool belt up to help others. Okay? You are building up your skills and your tools for the future. So do not get discouraged when you fall. All right, you guys. Whew. I feel there's going to be more about this, but that's what came through today. And um, would love to hear your comments on this. Would love to hear uh, what you guys have been thinking in regards to a lot of these teachings coming through, where you're at on your twin flame journey. Are you tier one? Are you tier two? Three? What's going on? Would love to hear uh, from you guys. If you want to work with me, take a look down below. If you're interested in doing divine feminine retreats, or and we're also doing we're doing um, men and women as well, but we all are also looking at just women ceremonies as well. But if you guys are interested in coming to Mexico next year, email me. I'll put you on the waiting list so we can keep everyone uh, updated in regards to COVID. And um, soon, once I get the go-ahead, I will be sh sharing my shaman's information. You guys are going to love her. She is, oh, <laughs> you guys, she is such a mentor to me. And, and you think, if you guys love me, you are going to like fall in love with her and forget about me. Let me tell you. <laughs> that's okay that's okay whoever i can lead to her is fine <laughs> uh so much love you guys and we'll be talking to you soon bye